Hi friends, it's Faye from Phase Road Media, and thank you so much for watching this new series of contract and document management systems, inside which I talk about SignNow, DocHub, and today I want to talk to you about PDF Filler. PDF Filler is a heavyweight tool for document collaboration, and we're talking about real-time collaboration. You can make sure that your document is HIPAA compliant, GDPR compliant, and if your collaborator needs translation, for example, PDF Filler also provides that. PDF Filler is heavyweight because it's designed for a complex contract and document management, specifically for people and teams who manage larger volumes of information and contracts. For that, you need advanced collaboration. For example, with PDF Filler, you can merge multiple documents into one. You can also add custom branding, templates, watermarks for a professional touch-up. PDF Filler helped us manage those documents securely. If you're only signing PDFs occasionally, I would say this probably is an overkill and I would recommend DocHub instead. But for serious operations, it's worth it. Now you can try it for free using the link below. Why don't we go ahead and take a look inside PDF Filler for this powerhouse document management system. So let me walk you through the details. So let's take a look at the interface inside PDF Filler. So first on the left-hand side, this is your personal space. You have your documents, templates, what's been shared with you and what's been sent, received, etc. At the very bottom, there are also many forms and templates that are available, including the IRS forms, the 1040s, and to take a look at all of them so that you don't have to create them from scratch. I'm going to quickly show you what they have here. And even you can navigate based on industries. And this is just amazing. In my opinion, I hate creating forms from scratch. You have some Spanish forms as well. For example, if you're not sure what you're looking for, like I said, so 1040 text form, for example, is right here. So if you've been asked to fill out a W9 form and you don't really have the form and you don't want to download it randomly from online, all you have to do is simply fill online here. You can get additional details on each and every one of these forms. When you're ready, the form is popped in and it's that simple. All these fields are highlighted. You can collaborate on these forms and share right away with your employers, with your contractors and with the business that you're working with. Super simple. So just like so. And when you're done, just click on done. You see all the changes are saved, even though I haven't fully finished the form yet. As soon as you exit the form, you don't have to look for the form that you're editing and creating just now. Look, it's listed right here under recent. And I want to quickly show you the sharing functionality. And this is really quite key. So under sharing, you can immediately send it to people and give them permissions such as editing, commenting, or viewing. In most cases for forms such as W9, in this case, you are just sharing with a person who requested in the first place. You can also copy the link directly. You can create workspaces and assign members there. Last but not least, you can access your e-signatures. When you add e-signatures, you can add yourself, or recipients and manage all these fields easily. Let me go ahead and show you recipient, let's say add myself. So myself is added. I'm just going to add another email. I'm going to click on save. And now under signature, when I click on it to the right hand side, I can say this is for myself or for someone else. You can also add notes here to help people understand what they need to do. If it's just a signature, it's self-explanatory, but if there are additional fields, this is very helpful. You could just mark up the signature here and for the date, I want recipient number two. And this is the only signature you can just save and close or review and send because it's a W9 form. So it already knows the fields that you need to fill out. But what if this is a custom form or a document you created on your own? Of course, these fields are not going to be existing right from scratch, but you can simply drag and drop these fields into the form itself. You have text, signature, date, initials, name, also these additional fields like numbers, drop downs, check boxes, radio buttons, images, and different formulas. There are also popular currencies like US dollars, euros. All right, let's click on save and close. So as I mentioned, you don't have to start with a template created by PDF filler. You can create your own agreement. I just did this as an example. And what I'm going to do is download this from Google Doc. This is something I created on my own, just a 
template and the placeholder, not a real contract. Now, when I come back into a PDF filler, I can simply say add from my document or upload a template, which is what I'm going to do. Let's add this Word doc and you can see it's loading up right now. So one file is uploaded. I'm going to click on open. You can see this template is right here. This is something I can reuse over and over again. So to use this template, I'm going to click on that, or I can say create from template. Now this is a second copy right here. All right, let's go ahead and open that so I can show you real quick how to navigate a Word doc or in your case, it may be a PDF for you to edit very easily. So there is a quick tutorial. We can walk you through the details for the first time. Of course, if you're watching this video, so I'm not going to make you do that. So the only signatures I'm requesting here is this field and the company X, Y, and Z create signature just like that. Next, I want to add a date just like that. And I'm done. Now I need to create a field so my client can sign as well. Instead of edit now, what I'm going to do is called add fields. Look at that. Click on add fields and suddenly all these fields would appear. You can do exactly the same for your own signature as well. Just out of habits. I did it. I edited the original documents. So here we can add signature. So you're going to drop this field right here and simply drop the date. Now I'm going to go back to the signature, click on the signature and create add recipient for the recipient. I can go ahead and just, you know, add his or her email, save it like so. And then I'm going to hover over to this date here and basically request the same person. Now, if you have two, three, four, five people needing to sign the same document, you can go back to assign to and add a new recipient. You can review and send or save and close. You can also preview it using this button right here. The email is already captured and you can customize the subject and email message here. There's some additional settings. You can send reminders and schedule the document to expire and signature stamp. You can add a verified by PDF filler stamp next to every signature to confirm the time and date of each signature. There's also electronic record and e-signature disclosure for the authentication. You're able to create a password and only share that password with a person who you intend to sign the document. All right, let's go back to our dashboard. Another area you may not be as familiar with is called public page. Basically you can create a document, share it publicly and work with your team. For example, you can add a new public page here. You can drop your document or select from device. I am actually gonna select the same document, upload it. Now you can see that a public page is created. Let's click on that. Now upper right hand corner, you can choose the document setting. You can edit the document. You can hide from public page, delete it. And what it means is this is your shareable link. Let me show you in an incognito window. You can see in incognito, this document can load and it says, Hey, welcome. You are here to fill and sign this document. Step by step, we can do it together. And anybody who comes into the document can look at it and being able to sign with you. So this is really helpful. I've done this with my colleagues and friends via zoom, where we can look at the same document together for signing or even just for reviewing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you ever consider using the public pages by PDF filler? A few features that I find really helpful is merge, rearrange and split merge PDFs is allowing you to upload documents. You're able to upload multiple documents like so and merge them. They can even be of different file types. I'm going to call it this merge test. You can even add additional information if you want. And when it's all good, click on merge two documents are merged together. Super simple. Now, while you're at that, you can be looking at the document thinking, well, they're not really in the right order. What you can do is simply and freely move them around here. I'm simply clicking on each page and rearranging them. You can add additional pages. You can even rotate them or moving them left to right. And when you're done, just click on apply. Same thing goes for split and extract pages. Once a page is uploaded, look to the right hand side. You can select pages to split. You can choose to include or exclude pages. So when they're grayed out, that means they are excluded. So these are the key features. And the benefit is that you don't have to leave PDF filler to access all these features. They're done very easily, very quickly. And I find these features to be very helpful, not only to increase our productivity 
But when someone like myself is on the more technical side, when I work with team members who are less comfortable with accessing multiple devices and different tools to get something done, they are just much happier inside PDF filler, especially when it comes to agreements and contracts. Those things can get very repetitive and frankly, a little bit boring. And this definitely helps us a great deal. I look forward to your thoughts and feedback in the comments below. And I hope PDF filler will help you and your team as much as it did for us. Thank you.